Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Factorio, and in this one we are going to be doing quite a lot of automation and different things around, based around that idea. Um, now, I wasn't going to be recording this until after Christmas, but why not, why not, why not. Let's uh, go ahead and get this uh, recorded, I thought, so yeah, we're going to be doing this now, and yeah, we should be having some fun playing, but... Um, yeah, I can't seem to be able to get the power to there. So I'm going to have to space this extra thing out by here. And I'll indicate why I'm doing this in just a second. And then it will all become a whole lot clearer to you guys. And wow, this place is noisy. Let's move away so we can talk. What I've currently done is I've separated off the iron lines so we can make some uh, steel. And I've put these into like steel furnaces, which craft things a lot faster than the standard stone furnaces. I've also replaced one with the copper one because copper's starting to back up a lot and it does smell it up a lot faster. I've not added the overflow storage to this copper line. Um, and yeah, I have uh, I decided to record this one before Christmas. I don't know why, I've, I've recorded it like immediately after finishing the last one, which I don't know if I'll have time to fully finish this one, but I'm hoping there's always hope, there's always hope. Um, and the reason for all these extra mine drills in terms of the iron is just simply so that we can get the iron that we need um, a lot faster because there's a lot more pressure on getting the iron right now and that's one of the reasons why I want to make this a whole lot better if I can place that there can I? yes that's good right so we've got pretty much maximum um, mining drills right here I don't know why they're out of operation Got that connecting. Hold on, let's take a look at this a second. Got power coming in from the top, all the way down, along up here, towards the top section. That should be providing enough power. But it doesn't seem to be. Um, let's try that. Nope. Hold on. Does that work? Is that all it needed? Just a little extra one? Okay. I guess that's finished it. And we can pick up some of this excess iron right here. Pick up all that. And I managed to get two iron on me. Don't know how. Um, but yeah, these things smell up really fast. So we're, the idea is to make a lot of these using this steel right here. Which means that we can make another one right there. Because that is some enough steel. And eventually all of them stone ones will be replaced with these. Because these are a lot faster and the, at least the copper line does definitely need them. Other than that we're going to be doing some research throughout which will mostly be done off camera by me and yeah I don't know when this episode will be finished up or whatever I just decided to start it I don't really know particularly why to even be honest with you guys so uh, no I'm not sure why I did that but oh well we'll roll with it. <laughs> And there's some excess stone, I believe, that goes into there. Yeah, and then you get the stone bricks that get put into the chest at the end. Which is, of course, good. So, I believe now is just time to do some research. I'm going to expand this coal line and possibly automate the whole coal process. And what, what we may have to do in terms of the overhaul with coal processing is uh, change up this iron concept down at the bottom and make it so that it can come out more underneath and then back round so that we can have the coal coming under separate line and through and out so we can pull a coal into these machines. I don't know how we'll go and run it but uh, I'll have to have a think about that because we've got all this coal at our disposal um, and also it looks like we've got some coal up here which it's not going to be of that size I don't believe. I'll go up and have a look actually but I believe it's actually in these trees so if it's un inaccessible then we're not going to be able to get our hands on it which yeah it's around here so apologies for that right there I re started receiving a phone call I do not want to take so I'm going to leave that right there because it is not important so I'm just going to ignore that and turn off my phone so I won't get any more of those um, I believe that all of these have been filled with the bullets uh, there's still a few down here to be filled up other than that, it seems to be running okay, and the system seems to be backing up, which is always good. So we've not been attacked just yet, um, but the defences are there for when we do get attacked, which is absolutely great. So the next job now is to obviously add more to this uh, coal filtering area kind of thing. 
and get a bit more research done and yeah that's pretty much it we'll go afk oh not afk just more or less stand around this area for just a little while to get some more steel because we do need to get those steel furnaces going and steel's quite hard to get when you've not got a lot of iron going which is why i added in the extra iron things and actually tell you what i want to do I want to add these ones in separate. Oh, that could have done with being left. I was going to suggest possibly adding these um, facing in the downward direction. So from there like this, 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 like that. And then wiring them up to the main system because it's going to go around in a continuous loop. So... No matter what, it's going to get smelted. I believe. And it doesn't even have a chance to go into the other one. It's just either scoop it up, go into the buffer, or nothing at all. Um, I tell you what, I'm just going to remove all of these because we really don't need these. And if we ever need these in the future, then they can always be added back in. And my tool's broke. My tool has broke. We could make an iron axe, but I'm going to... A steel axe, but I'm going to stick with iron for now. Check where it can get my, my inventory's full. That can do 8 physical damage, that can do 5. So we'll, back, we'll get ourselves a steel axe. Uh, cannot insert steel axe. Well, where's it gone then? Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and pick that up. No, nope, I can't. So we'll move those into there and then we can do it. Is that on it? Yeah, we go. So we're going to swap that out for that one. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the iron one. <sighs> Regardless, I'll just drop off all of this right here. Why am I pressing shift? I should press control and it goes all in. And before I do anything else major, I just need to remove all these, really. This episode may be just sort of this style of uh, doing things. Um, <laughs> we don't have enough storage at all. And I already had iron chests, great. Amazing. We're going to put those down. These are not obviously going to be taking things out of. And then that can just be shared between them all. As backup storage, so there we go. And uh, now I should have the room to do whatever else I need to get done because. Yeah, this is oh <laughs> that insta mines now which is quite good and yeah we now we've got to just do a steel and then we'll get on with the coal patch areas this looks like a good system now it's all moving in a slow in a flowing direction and we're gonna get quite a lot of resources from this iron because eventually the goal is to clear out all the iron which is gonna mean that a lot of this is gonna be moved eventually, but we'll get around to that in the future. What I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to set up a lot more mining area around the coal, set it up in rows so that more can be distributed, and then I'll get some tracks down, see if we can get some coal distributing onto all sides and see what I can come up with. That's what I'm gonna do for now, so I'll catch you in a moment. Well, I'm sure we made a mess here, guys, um, but I understand what's going on, so you should soon, by the time I've finished explaining this. We've essentially added um, five, uh, coal miners on each side, so that's a total of 10 electric mine drills for coal. And this is probably going to be hitting the roof real soon because of this. And our pollution levels are going to end up rising as well. But this is just putting coal onto this one conveyor belt, currently not being used much. And then this is going down into the bottom area where it can take it from, uh, put it into these machines down here. And what I've done to make way for this is I've run it underneath the track which um, sends the uh, iron off to the processing line down here to make the lab packs and then um, so that goes underneath that line and then the backup line this one goes underneath the um, power line kind of production line area I'll call it production line and then it goes underneath the line for coal and back underneath the production line so it goes in a big loop as it did but only instead of it going here it now goes all the way around there I've also got rid of one of the chest buffers and everything else and I've limited this buffer to just one slot so it can buffer out one slot otherwise it will just override and go straight through which is probably no point in even putting that there but it's there regardless 
And now, aside from all this, I just want to wire up the copper one so that the copper one is working, which is definitely going to be a hard process. I can't even put into words how hard that is going to be. But firstly, um, well, not firstly, but what I'm going to do now, um, as I've got this working, I'm going to add in the coal line going down to the bottom. And to do that, I'm just going to use a fast... Sp no, I'll use a regular splitter. It's not really much point in using the fast splitters just for that job. So I'll use a regular one of those on position. Goes like that. And there we go. Now I should be able to run this wire down. I believe it needs to just cut through there. I'm going to need some more track to do it, but essentially I just want to wire it down there, down that area, round, and then up. Which, that seems like a w long winded way to do it. It's probably the best way we have isn't too many underground loopings. Um, run it under and then round. That should be fine. I'll clear out these trees as well because uh, they're not needed here really. They don't take too long to clear with this uh, steel axe. Is that what it is? Yeah, steel axe. So yeah, I'll clear down these trees and then I'll get to work on the um, the copper. Like I said, the coal for... No, not coal for the copper. The coal for the steel. Steel production is what we need for. Other than that, we should be good to go. And then I'll just have a look into electric problems and other things after that. Because we're going to need some more electric as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and I'll catch you guys in a little I've bit. added in the steel cable in for this machine down here. And, yeah, the coal is already backed up all the way up to the top. I've replaced all of these with the new steel furnaces. So we should be producing a lot more steel than we was before this. And the research of Bullet Speed 2 is nearly done, which is brilliant. And, yeah, things are clogging up in the system, which is quite good, to be fairly honest with you. We're, I'm quite glad that we've got... Um, coal clogging up if that makes sense because yeah we, we should have coal clogging up because that's something amazing to have <laughs> in uh, so to speak but yeah and is this buffer even getting used I have no idea I know that we have uh, the iron that comes in here so does that take it ah it took it right there but it comes straight out so the buffer is not really going to fill up only if the, this wire clogs up and all that's left to do now is to add in the coal needed for the copper stations and then replace these with these ones which I only need one more of those steel furnaces to make that happen and what is it that I need some more steel to make that steel furnace so what I'll do is I'll do quite a lot of research when this research is done and then we will have a look into what else we can do for the rest of this episode um, because yeah it's probably going to be a shorter one than usual not too sure but we are getting quite a lot done here you can see the iron is uh, starting to back up on the line, the iron ore. But that's only because these are jammed because of me putting the iron ore into those. When that's free, it's going to easily just shoot it straight down with ease. And that's exactly why I've got this buffer here, which is probably going to fill up the next time. Oh, maybe not. Well, when this line jams, that's when it will fill up, which it's going to jam any second. We'll just wait and watch it jam. <laughs> It's funny to watch my own machines jam up. <laughs> um, perhaps it won't jam after all because it, it may be able to keep up. There we go. It's jammed. We're st now starting to use the buffer. Which is good. Oh, uh, that would have been bad if I'd have omitted that to that. So, yeah, it's a good job that we've got the buffer just in case anything like this happens if the system goes overboard. If a lot more smelts are needed or something on those lines, but yeah, we can run over and pick all this up just to quite easily solve that problem that we were having. The simple problem is do not put your I excess iron ore back into your system that you've just took it out of. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to in instead add this to the end one, which rarely gets used, so nothing major is going to happen in terms of that one. I'll go down here also, um, and oh, we've got enough to make the last steel furnace now. But we're not getting enough iron through here, which is uh, one of the things that I wanted to get done quite easily. What I can also do down at the bottom end is add in some more of these, um, what are they called? Electric mining drills. I always forget what things are called in the, uh, in the old factorio. So, um... Yeah, that, that should work, because that's only going to put 
some extra iron over which is just gotta pull it out essentially. It's it's real easy to do that and that was that was something that I uh so loud to do if if that makes sense. Um so loud. And yeah, we're gonna be splitting stuff off. Which this should still get iron from that. It's just that the, having two splitters, well, three splitters even, it's getting split quite a lot. And um, because of that, we're getting what's been splitted twice. So it's been shared between this line and this line, and then it's shared between this and this, which is also why the ammo line is also slow. But eventually, we'll get um, steel like we have got ammo up at the top. So. Yeah, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be looking into seeing if we can make the copper line with the coal and then I will do a bit more research when this one is finished and I'll catch you then. Alright, some stuff has happened since the last thing and I've added the coal line to the copper, spun this line down and under, moved the iron over and down, but the copper one underneath because it did used to run straight across the bottom right there. And I've had to alter that just because of adding this new system. So I've had quite a lot of underground pipe movement kind of thing. And our copper's backed up all the way to these top machines, if you can see up there. And yeah, we are still producing the electric that we uh, need and everything. Um, coal's looking good. And uh, yeah, inventory is hard to sort out right now. But if you have a look, uh, well... You can more or less just make out what's going on. Things are just jamming up. So I've added these uh, as extra buffers. We've still got this buffer. Then we've got this extra buffer here. This extra buffer here. And yeah, that's it for the buffers. And everything's just jamming up. Which, because iron's in demand by the process up the top. It's taking a while for the research to happen and everything else. So we're pro possibly going to need a dedicated uh, iron line. One thing that I could install right here is something that if that iron if this is contains iron put it out and this line oh, wrong way we'll do this on camera actually because it's be fun to do is that iron yeah i see iron line so if iron's here pull it off and put it there which is one great solution to solve one of their problems and there should be another place where we may need iron um here so we can have one on the top saying if I in here pull out here which is quite a good system to have really so let's have a look if uh, if I in put I in place track all the way along like so that's amazing I like that I, I, I love what we've just done right there <laughs> Why did I not think of that? We can do, of course, do that for copper when it starts backing up. Which, it hasn't even started backing up yet because we've only got three of those. Whereas we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of those. And we can't really move it out and put it into this line. We'll just have to wait for it to split off as far as that one goes. But... Yeah, things are looking good in terms of iron production now, adding those lines and having them extra buffers going all around that area. Um, so yeah, we should be able to get our research done quite fast. This is a long research, this engine one, and it will allow us to get cars, which I've seen in the Sumo Voyages video. And they are absolutely amazing, so we need to get our hands on some of those. And this involves some green ones as well. So the green ones are going to need to be made, which... It should be what is happening right now, which it is. We've got a great load of iron. I think it's just the amount that these can't keep up and things, which these secondary assembly machines have got something called these module uh, upgrade kind of things. And what these do, if we have a look at where you get them. I did do the thing, I believe, the research for them. It gives you, oh, it just allows you to do the research for it. So we can either do the speed upgrade to push it to the limit and increase energy, productivity, push the machines to productivity. So my dedicated partition filled up while I was recording that, and I believe I got to the shit stage of showing you about those uh, things inside of here. I'm not quite sure what I showed you and what I didn't, whether that's been refilled or not, but we're still doing the energy one, and yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure what we came to or what we didn't and I really hope that a lot of the stuff that I did 
has been captured like this backup area and everything if not they have essentially added a backup line right here and things i don't really have time to play about the footage it's almost christmas and i want to rec pre-record this so it's ready for after christmas which could be another video and uh, stick to the normal schedule so this one will come out on monday it gives me plenty of time after christmas to get the other stuff set up like the return of minecraft and other things like that so that's going to be it for this episode um I did blab on about a whole lot more, talking about where to go, what to do, what I'm going to do in the future, what we're going to be doing else, and I can just remember all doing all about that, and essentially saying that we're going to be getting this iron um, sometime soon. I really need to keep an eye in the frame rate counter in my top left, but when it turns to yellow, because that means that my hard drive's filled up, it's because I already recorded an episode of Factorio, and I've gone ahead and recorded this one, just because I could, and just because I wanted to which yeah that's pretty much it so yeah i'm i'm hoping that everything i showed you i've showed you um explained about i was talking about these boilers probably be extending in the future and stuff like that as well um i really can't remember all else um about the engine me doing the research to get around in a car because it's faster and i've seen a similar boy doing that probably blabbing on really fast right now it feels to me like i'm talking really fast i just want to get this out and explain the ending because I already made an ending but sadly it stopped recording and when I hit the stop button it actually started again and just made a one second recording which was absolutely pants so yeah that's happened so thank you very much for watching please do if you enjoyed this video do hit that like button it is always appreciated but thank you all for watching this has been Harper Boy and I will see you all next time bye bye